hey guys welcome back so first of all merry christmas because i think it will be christmas day that i'm actually uploading this it just turned out uh that it's gonna be christmas day i usually upload on sundays and i missed wednesday this week so i want to definitely get a sunday video up for you guys so it will be christmas i'm filming this on christmas eve uh so yeah so merry christmas i hope you guys have a wonderful day and Santa brings you guys all the loveliness. So first, this video is going to be a little unboxing because I have a few packages, but I have an early Christmas present that I want to share with you guys. So that's what we're going to do. I am going to turn you guys around and you guys are going to see my new Christmas present. I'm so excited. I'm in love. And yeah, I'm not going to say much more about it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna turn you guys around. Oh, and if you guys are new here, then hi, I'm Evita, and I film pink and girly stuff on this channel. I love anything sparkly, glittery, blingy, pretty pink. I love purses, I love perfumes, uh, just everything, everything girly. So, yeah, if you guys are new, then consider subscribing if that's your jam. So, I'll let me turn you guys around. Are y'all ready? Are you ready? I don't think y'all are ready. Ta-da! My husband bought me this beautiful impressions little um, like island thing that I've been wanting forever. I think it's uh, two, four, six, eight. It's like uh, 11 drawers or 12. I don't know what they call it, but it's like a little island. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it. It comes in pink and black and white. And I got the white one. Um... So yeah, so I couldn't wait to have him hook it up for me. He literally built it, I think like the next day after it came. And right away I put my Christmas, that's another reason why I was waiting to put up my Christmas stuff. Because I wanted to display my Christmas tree on it this year. Because normally I put my Christmas tree on my ottoman. But since I was getting rid of the ottoman from the middle, I needed that to be put up put together so yeah so i will give you guys a quick rundown of my little christmas setup and then we'll start filming um i just have i threw together really quick a bunch of stuff because i never did end up doing a room tour this year and the reason for that is because i still haven't really decorated everything i i'm not gonna lie to you guys i still have halloween um stuff up in this room um my for her vanity uh, Halloween organizers are still up and yeah I did manage to get all the fall pumpkins and stuff down and I did put hints of like Christmas like you guys saw my Christmas bar and then I did add like little Christmassy things here and there like there a little Christmas thing and on my vanity and like I said on the island I think I have like a Christmas tree up there by my bank and I have a Santa right there but that's about it. Everything else I didn't do. So I did put these two little cute, um, the little pom-pom trees I put on the floor on each side. And then I put these cute white stockings. Um, they have gold snowflakes on them on each end. And I have some goodies tucked down in there. And then I wanted to keep this my traditional Tiffany and pink uh, thing that I always do so and you guys know I love pops of red for Christmas because I feel like it's a traditional color so I put my Victoria's Secret advent calendar here and then I thought my Tiffany box with the red bow would like really um accentuate like the red and then this little Noel sign from the at home store with the little red goes perfect there and it has a uh, little Tiffany color in it and then it has little presents so I thought that was cute these Tiffany boxes are empty they're for decor purposes only um then these little like needle trees I have a pink one and a needle a pink one and a needle a pink and a Tiffany one I have a little Tiffany's bag back there and then I have all of my Tiffany and Victoria's Secret um ornaments on my tree which I've had for years and then the little Tiffany and Co uh ornaments um, I got all of these from different shops and then these are new this year the little lollipops I have it in pink and then like the Tiffany blue and those are from the at home store and then I have these Ray Dunn 
cup of cheers this is the pink one and then there's a tiffany one on the other side these little um white ones with the pearls and then the starbucks ornament from was it last year or two years ago now and yeah i did add this little dessert because it was so cute and then i put the little gingerbread people back there the little boy and a little girl because it matches with this and they are tiffany and pink colors in them and then my little cute pink stocking my friend janine sent me i have a little macaroon that she also sent me and then i put the clara and the nutcracker right in the middle she's so freaking cute and then as my topper i just have this gold crown gives me juicy vibes um i'll show you guys a few more that are on the back so here's the other Ray Dunn. That's like the Tiffany colored one. And then I have that little Starbucks shopping bag. And then my little mixer that Janine sent me to. And then I have a little gingerbread house. How cute is that little house? And I have another one. That one Mary Mocha. That's also from the uh, Martha Stewart. I Did I say Martha Stewart? I meant Ray Dunn if I said that before. But I meant Ray Dunn. And then there's another little gingerbread house right here with sprinkles on it. And another one of those little macaroons. So yeah, guys, after I put my tree up, yesterday me and my husband were wrapping gifts. And I realized I legit have probably at least 50 more ornaments. And I didn't even realize I was excluding that many. I knew I didn't put everything up. But I found some really pretty ones that I was kind of sad that I didn't remember I had. And I like tucked them away early in the season when I was buying all this stuff. And I forgot about them. I don't know if you guys remember the little gingerbread um, picks that I got at Michael's. I found some really cute nutcrackers at Michael's. I found some nutcrackers at Ross. Janine sent me some super pretty um other ornaments that i found in the box and i was just like and then i had found some like glass macaroons from michael's too so yeah so i was really sad because i was like oh my gosh i forgot about them but then at the same time i was like my tree is really full where would i have put those so that kind of means next year i might have to get a bigger tree i don't know um and yeah i i just needed to put this out because i didn't take my big one out guys can you guys believe i finally found the big one this year and I never took it out of storage. When I bought it from um, Tuesday morning, I wrapped it up right away and I put it in the bin in my basement and I didn't bring it out. So I at least had to bring the little guy out um, since I didn't bring it out. But yeah, I have so much decor that I didn't. Like I said, if you guys have been watching my videos, I was literally sick the last week of October through the entire November so I was really behind this year and when I finally started feeling better just had way too much to do with my daughter's school and work um to really focus on decorating so I just didn't I also have my little polar bear and I put a Christmas candle on there and I have the little Victoria's Secret ribbon on there um by the way behind here is a bunch of stuff I'm trying to hide so uh yeah i have christmas presents back there and i have my shoes popping out on the side so yeah so i'm trying not to like show you guys but if you guys are wondering where my ottoman went it's my new chair um my ottoman is here and it's just with my uh, little gingerbread um pillow for right now ignore the pants um i cannot decide if i want to keep those those go with the that pink sweater that I bought from Victoria's Secret um I am returning the sweater for sure and those are the pants that match I cannot decide so I got the sweater in a small and I think I need to get an extra small because it's way too baggy or I could be saying that wrong I got it in a medium and I need to get a small no I got it in a small and I need an extra small they do make it in the extra small it's way too big on me and then the pants I got these in a medium and I can't decide if I want to get them in a small. So here's the thing. For me, I feel like when I wear like pink and they're too tight, I feel like they're kind of see-through. And I have thick thighs. So I feel like 
um tight on the thighs ain't cute um but i also don't like how baggy they are so i think i might return them and i might um just wear the sweater with jeans or something when i do not wear it as an outfit and then i wanted to show you guys my cute little outfit that i created so these are like the cute pajama pants from five below the like gingerbread pants um the pink ones and look you guys i put my gingerbread sweater on with it so i have like gingerbread houses with gingerbread man and they're both pink like how freaking cute i made like a little christmas little outfit so this is what i've been lounging around in all day um and then i did want to show you guys i did end up putting some of my uh nutcrackers down if you guys remember when i was decorating the christmas bar i said that i wanted to put some nutcrackers down on the floor and then i i brought santa out so these are the only nutcrackers i bought i brought out and guys i legit did not know that i had like um i have like 20 nutcrackers and i i just put these out yesterday to be honest i was in this closet trying to grab something and all of these and santa were in there so i just was like okay i'm gonna pull you guys out because but i still have a whole bunch more in my bins which it's just it's saddening this year that i i did not get to do stuff i did also add this guy because you guys know i have a candy cane theme and he's holding a candy cane and i do have the red vibes over here too so i thought he was cute and then i forgot i had him too which is so cute because he's pink and tiffany and he has candy canes as well so i just added him to the corner right there he's guarding guarding my coffee station so yeah so the coffee station i told you if i guys if i change anything i will show you the what i added so it was that that and guys i forgot i freaking had this and i think this was also one of the things that helped me decide that i was going with a candy cane thing when i found this candy cane tree and yeah i forgot about it so i didn't even like find a spot for it i just literally pulled it out and was like okay just go there tomorrow is christmas and all of this is coming down and i'm gonna start decorating for valentine's day so i was like i don't care just put it anywhere for now so it's like right in the middle of my coffee bar and then my white cup is missing because i used it today and i did post a reel on instagram so yeah so now i am going to turn you guys around i just wanted to show you guys that and we're gonna get into my unboxing part of the video all right so now that you guys saw my new christmas present guys i'm so excited about that like my husband literally made my day i'm so happy um all right i'm going to show you guys what i got i do have a new bag that i will be unboxing in a separate video for you guys i'm not gonna open it in this video um so that will probably be my next video also let me let you guys know something really quick alexa tracy if you are watching this ma'am i still have your prize you have not contacted me and i cannot find you you said you have an instagram i cannot find you so i don't know how to contact you and give you your prize so um i don't know what else to do i can't hold this forever um so i will give it until this video for you to watch it and then maybe my next one and then after that unfortunately i'm probably gonna have to pick another winner because um i can't hold it forever and uh yeah it's been a couple of weeks already and i keep searching alexa tracy on instagram and too many results come up and none of them say they're following me so i don't know which one it is so please reach out to me so i can say your prize and also for the nutcracker mug if you guys remember i was supposed to post a winner last sunday which was what did i film i don't even know what i filmed you guys um i didn't post because she hasn't even contacted me and i didn't want to like have a new winner when i'm still waiting on this one so i will be posting that probably my next video to be honest i haven't even had time to like look at all the entries and get my computer and add that part into the video so that will be coming up soon 
Um, but yeah, let's get into this unboxing really quick because I don't want this to be super, super long like all my other videos always are. Um, I have some items in a bunch of these type bags, mailers, that I don't know what they are. Um, so let me look into them and I will tell you. So these are sent in PR. Um, the first one is from Fresh. I love Fresh Beauty. This is their Black Tea Advanced Age Renewal Cream, Anti-Wrinkle Firm Radiance. Um, and I've used this before, I believe, the Black Tea line. I know for sure I've used the um, toner. And I think I had an eye cream. So I don't think this is new. Uh, but yeah, this is the... I want to say, did I say night cream, age renewal cream? I feel like I would use this at night. Apply to the face and neck daily. It says morning and night. But for me, this would probably be like a night cream. Whenever I associate like age renewing and like that kind of stuff, I'm automatically like, it's a night cream. So, I'm excited because I really like fresh. So, that's what it looks like. And I'm actually going to put a little on my face because I showered and I put toner on, but I did not put lotion. And I was just telling my husband before I started filming, we were watching a movie on the couch. And I was like, my face is dry. My lips are dry. Everything is dry. It's this like winter weather. I don't know what it is. I feel like that's what it is. But y'all, my lips are like the worst i've ever felt them like so bad i've used scrub and i've been actually putting vaseline it's that dry that i've been putting vaseline on my lips not even joking we went to target i placed a pickup order and i ordered a pot of vaseline and that's what i've been using so that feels really nice um obviously you're not gonna have like benefits overnight <clears throat> with these kind of creams you have to keep using them so i will test that out but it smells really good and it feels really good next i got some goodies in from curology which i've never used their products and i hear so many people talk about them so i got their emergency spot patch and this says there's 20 patches on here so it's like those little um stars that i've showed you guys from starface it's like a little patch you put it on there if you start getting a breakout which i do have a breakout right here i don't know if you guys can see it on camera but it just started so i'm gonna try this after the video i'm gonna put one of these on and then i got um they sent over the cream moisturizer it says rich hydration for dry skin literally what i just was talking about i have dry skin so this is what it looks like and i wonder how this looks is this a pumpy one? Oh yeah it is it's like the one where you press down and it comes off the top so it has a little thing on there honestly i'm probably gonna open both of these i have a lot of moisturizers open right now but i like using different ones every day depends on the mood i'm in so I will test those. So if you guys are interested in my thoughts, let me know. Um, and I'll try and update you guys what I think of those products. And then the last thing I got. Oh, I don't know if I showed you guys these before. But they sent some more. Dashing Diva sent me these um, press-ons. Can you guys see them? They're so pretty. They're like pink with glitter. And then some have the rhinestones. This is the set they sent me previously. They were pink with leopard. And I was about to put these on the other day. That's why they're on my vanity. And yeah. They sent over these. Now these are called Heavenly Frost. The ones that they just sent. And the other set is called Cheetah Charm. So I have not given them a try yet. But they do come with um, nail glue. And wait is there glue in here? 
no they don't come with nail glue they come with the nail file and like the little cuticle um tool but they don't come with nail glue i think they have yeah they have stickers on the back but i've i don't like the sticker kinds of nails so i still um i take the sticker off and then i add glue to it and they still work so that's what i'm planning on doing with those um and then i have this on my vanity because i don't know if i shared this already but patchology sent over these rosé toes this is a renewing foot mask i've used foot mask by patchology before but i've not tried the rosé toes um this says shea butter strawberry oil and res resveratrol and you get one pair in here i think what i used before is not um this is a foot mask mine was like a foot treatment like it's like these like foil bags and you pour like an essence in there and you tie them up and wear them but this is an actual foot mask so what i've tried from patchology it actually makes your feet start peeling so this is different so i'm excited to try that um all right so now let's get into the toy secret You guys, I think this is a blanket, a pink blanket. I think I got this as a free gift um, with purchase. Oh my gosh. I forgot about this. I always forget about what I order. I look, oh, it is. It's so soft. Yay, I got a blanket. It's, it's like such a thing to get a, a blanket around the holidays. It just feels like Merry Christmas to me. Like, I'm so excited. I have a pink blanket from Pink. Not from Victoria's Secret, but from Pink. Um, but it's gray, and it's this exact material. It's soft, and then inside is like the white, like fleecy material. And I love that blanket. It's just, it's gray. So I keep it down in my living room. While we're watching movies, I pull it out of our ottoman. Um, I have one of those like storage ottomans. But I'm so excited to have one that's actually the color pink. And it says pink and it's so warm. So this will be my beauty room blanket. So excited about that. Woohoo! And I don't know. I'm sure it's like a 50 by 60 or something. I don't know. Let's see if it's on here. It just says cozy plush blanket. Free. We love those words. Alright. The next thing in here are some black joggers. Yes, they're black. Uh, I ordered these already in um green and hot pink, if you guys seen that video. And they were super um comfortable and they fit me really well unlike these by pink that like they're too baggy in my size and then if i get a smaller size they're gonna be too tight and i don't like that in the color pink so um yeah so anyway the victoria's secret brand the cotton jogger they're looking kind of green when i get closer like an emerald green but they're black um and then they just have the victoria's secret logo right there and then these are like the jogger um, bottom at the bottom, like the tapered bottom, which I love. That's my favorite style. I don't like wide or flare or any of that. Um, and then I did get this sweater that I thought would go nice. I got this sweater in that other previous haul in like a mauve pink and I decided to get it in black because I thought it was really comfortable and I was like I think they were on sale for like $25 and I was like you can't beat that so and I thought that the way the Victoria's Secret logo was here and here that it would like make a nice little set um so yeah so that's what the sweater looks like the sweater's so soft 
the sweater is a different material so i don't think they're like from the exact same line because the sweater is like a little bit softer the pants are like thicker but they're obviously both black and they look like a set so um stretch fleece crew neck was it came out to 1607 i think it was on sale for 25 but with coupons and then the jogger came out to 28.89 so i don't think those were 25 um oh wait no sorry fleece jogger 22.49 so i must have another pair of joggers in there uh the joggers were 22.49 so they were 25 also and then the other ones are the ones that were probably more expensive. So these are by Pink. And I got a size medium. These are like my favorite ones that I always get. The ones that are like um, the jogger material, the straight leg, not the classic fit. This is like the everyday jogger style. And they are like the new ones that came out, new designs. So they're like a mauve pink, and then they say pink in gold, gold glitter with the dog and the little logo. I thought that was so cute. Um, I didn't see a sweatshirt to match this, like a full zip hoodie. That's what I normally get. Um, I didn't see that, but I will probably get it if they come out with it. Or maybe they did have it and they were sold out. I can't remember. But these are super cute. Can't wait to wear those. And then I got two more items in the bag. Nope. Lies. I tell you lies. That's it. Um, One more item. Not two. This I'm excited about. I know what it is. Let's just get it open. Woo! Cocoa coffee. So y'all, if you guys watch my videos, you guys know I'm obsessed with this particular line of lotions. Like that come in this like um bottle with the pump. I have literally all of them. I can't see. They're a little too high. Cocoa. Um, the honey, the honey ginger, the cocoa vanilla, the honey lavender, now the cocoa coffee. They're actually up there in that, like, I love makeup bin right up there. You can see all the pumps. Um, that's where I keep them at. Sorry, I'm shaking, guys. Uh, yeah, if you guys are wondering, yeah, I'm putting this on because, like I said, I'm a little dry today. And what better way to smell it and use it right away um the coconut is more uh strong than the coffee i can smell the coffee when i uh sniff into it but when i started rubbing it in i don't really smell it um i love coffee so i don't mind smelling like coffee that's why when i saw cocoa coffee i was like oh yeah i just i can't really smell it on my hands I guess it's there because, I mean, it's in the bottle. I smell it. Oh, my God. This smells so good when you smell it out the bottle. It, like, smells like, like an iced coffee drink. It smells like a butter, rum, hazelnut kind of coffee drink. It smells really good. I'm happy. So, you guys, that's what I got from Victoria's Secret. I'm going to kind of chuck this over there. And then I have two packages here from, um, I have a, I am, you guys, we're going to have to do, uh, organize my island video. Let me know below if you guys want to see that. As for right now, I've literally been shoving everything in there to like hide it. <laughs> and we need to fix that. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. So I have two, um, boxes from Bath and Body Works. So, we will start with the bigger one. The other one, I already know what's in it. I opened it thinking it was this because I needed something out the other day. Um, mostly, these are gifts, but not all. There is stuff for me. 
Um, when I said I have stuff in this island drawer, I I have one whole drawer that I've been tucking all of my receipts in. So I just put that Victoria's Secret one in here, and now I just put the Bath and Body. It's just gonna help me when the holidays are done know where everything is. If I have to return anything, oh my god, this is too heavy to lift for you guys. I was trying to give you guys a cute little picture. I don't know. Can y'all see? Look at me trying to see me out the corner. Okay. So, by the time this video goes up, everyone will have got their gifts anyway. Because um, I'm hoping I can see them by tomorrow. So, I did pick up Vanilla Bean. Um, basically, the shower gel, the spray, the body lotion... And I found they had this little lip gloss to it. So that's basically a whole set, right? A shower gel, a hand cream. Yeah. So I got this little set um, for one of my friends. So vanilla bean. Um, funny story. I love vanilla, but I don't like that set. I've never used vanilla bean. Is this wrapped? I think. Oh. I don't really care for this scent. I don't know what's in it. It has vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow musk. Why wouldn't I like this? Everything sounds amazing. I don't know. Maybe I just have never used it. Vanilla bean and winter candy apple. I've never got for myself. Watch me like it and be like, okay, I'm not gifting this to anyone. I don't know. I can't really smell it, but those notes sound amazing. And I'm like, and then I got um, warm vanilla sugar, which I do love. Um, should I show you guys the packaging a little bit better? So this is warm vanilla sugar with the matching shower gel, and then I got. Do, 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 do. the matching lotion so this three piece set is a gift and then let me show you what's for me and get that out of the way the rest of the box maybe um, I got two of these eucalyptus experiment uh, from the stress line, the aromatherapy line. These are the bath soaks. Lux bath with vitamin E and shea butter. I absolutely love these. These are $18.50 by themselves. And these were in that like $5.99 or $4.95 skincare cell that they had the other day. So of course I had to pick these up. That's an amazing price. So those are both for me. And then previously I had got this wrapped in vanilla. I'm looking because it's over here. I got the spray and the body lotion. And I ended up loving it. So I picked up the shower gel to complete that set. I didn't need any more shower gels. That's why I didn't get it previously. But I was like, this smells good. Um, then I got, as a gift, because I already had this set. I got snowflakes and cashmere. I got the shower gel, the lotion, and... Um, the body cream and <laughs> trying you guys to hold everything at once and the spray so I got that whole set that's a gift and then this is for me. This is blush cardigan. This is the spray that when I got the wrapped in vanilla, I was like, oh my God, how did I forget this one? So this says sweet raspberries, sugar dripped violet, and warm amber. I can't wait to smell this because when I saw blush, it reminded me of velvet blush. So I was curious to see velvet blush. Amber blush, not velvet. I was thinking of something else, but amber blush is one of my favorites. I 
I feel like it is very close. Amber Blush is another one that's discontinued, so I usually pick it up when they have sales and when they bring it back. And I feel like this will be a good dupe. This smells very similar. I wonder what the notes were on that. This smells really freaking good. I'm excited about this one. Um, so yeah, so I only got this. I think the lotion was sold out. So I will have to pick that up another time or the shower gel. Everything was sold out. I was happy that I got the spray. And then you guys finally got my hands on the scents that I have been talking about forever and ever. And it was a part of the sale. This is another discontinued scent. My all-time holy grail scent. And I ordered it in the last sale. If you guys remember, it came broken. I went to the store to exchange it. And they were like, it's only available online. So, I ended up missing it. And, ta-da! Cashmere Glow. This is my all-time favorite scent. That and the amber blush that I'm talking about are my two favorites. Both discontinued. I'm very sad. Um. So, yeah. So, very happy. The notes in Cashmere Glow say Golden Peach, Lily Petals, Shimmering Vanilla, and Cashmere Musk. Doesn't that sound good? It is so good. And I had to pick up everything. So I got the shower gel and the lotion and a spray. I still have, I think, probably like a half a bottle of spray. So, ugh. Woo! My lord, that is good. Alright, so that's what's in this first box. So... A couple of things for me and a couple of things for friends and family and then the other Bath and Body Works box I opened it and then when I saw what was in it I was like that's not what I was looking for I was looking for that box um, I was just basically trying to wrap my gifts and that this came like last week and then that one just came today and i ordered them together but i guess it was um running late so this is also a gift if i can get it out of the box i have not decided yet oh my gosh i can't get it out you guys come here why are you being like that? Like, you want to live in this box? <sighs> Y'all, I'm, I'm using all of my strength here. <sighs> Jeez, where is Louise? And then, the bow just decided to come off. You are trying to play games here, sir. You know what? You know what? Ain't nobody got time for you. I'm gonna need a sip of water after all that. Are you guys staying hydrated? That's your sign. Go drink some water. All right. So you guys seen I um, hauled one of these in like my last video. I thought it was an amazing. Uh, little set so I decided I didn't know that they still had them but when I was shopping it popped up and I, I want to say it was on sale so this was supposed to be originally spend 40 and get it for 40 or spend 30 and get it for 30 whatever it was it was ten dollars less than what it was on Black Friday which was crazy because Black Friday is supposed to be the cheapest right but no they they marked it down even further so this is what's in here and what I started to say and got distracted by the box being up and wouldn't come out. Um, I can't decide if I'm going to give this whole box to someone that I have in mind or open it up and make individual gifts because I basically have um, my own so I don't need the stuff in here. Um, but I was thinking of making this Bright Diamonds set a gift to someone so it has the spray the shower gel and the lotion um you guys don't even understand how excited i am about having this island in front of me because i get to put stuff now um and then the 
other thing that it comes with is the snickerdoodle candle the snickerdoodle no this is ice cinnamon rolls um anti back and then the snickerdoodle lotion and then a bath bomb so this could be like a little gift set to someone and then the last thing in here is a fresh balsam candle and a fresh balsam hand soap so this could be a gift to someone so i could potentially have three more gifts in here um instead of giving someone this whole thing so that's kind of where i'm leaning i pretty much have everyone covered but you guys know like you go somewhere and then you have like oh i didn't know you were gonna be here and i totally forgot about you that kind of thing happens to me every year or someone shows up up at my house with someone like i'll invite family and i'm like oh you brought a plus one i hate when that happens because i don't like for us to have everyone open your presents and that person's just kind of like mm. i feel like i always have backup gifts so that's kind of where i am at and then i mean i have all these extra gift bags and tissue so i'll just have them already done and just add a name at the last minute and then if i don't need them then guess what i get to keep them so um that's what i'm thinking um uh, and then i have one more package this is another pr what did i do with my blade pixie sent over something which i was excited when he saw it because they had just recently sent over the glow tonic and i always get that usually during the holidays so i was like what else can they be sending right now um the mail people or always put the sticker right in the most annoying spot it's literally from the post office because it's like your address and stuff it's so annoying like y'all couldn't put it like over here or on the back like you got to cover up the brand name but anyway this is from pixie Ooh, it says glow out glow out instead of go out glow out with pixie oh so it's a whole box of goodies you guys so let me stand up and show you guys these two up here say i lift max they are an extreme long wear liquid shadow that leaves a veil of flattering color um you got a silky eye pencil i love these i have uh, a brown one and i think i have this black one these are super when they say silky they mean it they are like they glide on so good and they're waterproof um they have the large length mascara a flawless beauty primer um c vitamin lip brightener i've never tried that or this primer i've tried the mascara and then this is the nuance nuance quartet blush quart oh blush let me see I love some blush. Eh. All right, we're not playing games. Get out of here, blush. So it comes in one of these hard cases. I have a whole bunch of like their packaging like this. So let's see what. Oh my god! Oh my god! That is so beautiful. So you get a bronzer in here, two highlighters, and like a blush. So if you guys can see, these are like. Y'all, I'm trying to hide my finger. Do you guys see my two red fingers? Yes, I was eating hot chips, okay? Okay. So, you can see that this, these are blushes. They could be blush toppers also. You can use them as that. And then this looks like a bronzer and then a blush. Uh, I will go ahead and swatch them. Stop it right now. Hold on. That is so pretty. I wish you guys could see when I, like, you guys see the, I don't know what you call it. Like, it's not matte. It's like, it's like butter. It's smooth. It's butter, you guys. It has to be. So that color is called nectar. Yes, that's called nectar and the one next to it that i said is like a highlighter is called honey
so that's a very gold highlight and then the one below it the other highlight is called ambrosia that's pretty too that's on this finger it's like a peachy highlight so pretty huh it's like it's like peachy but it ha it's like a dual chrome because I can see like gold in it and then this like bronzer color is called syrup which finger I like which finger is clear clean so that's the bronzer and that's what the bronzer looks like so pretty i absolutely love this definitely excited to have that and yeah do we have anything to like i haven't opened these yet but they're here on my vanity uh guess i can open them now Woo um so yeah so this is what i got from pixie i'm gonna see i think i'm gonna swatch those two what were they eyeshadows yeah the liquid eyeshadows i'm gonna swatch those those look pretty and then i have to um make sure i have the same the black liner because i know for a fact that i have i hate it when i pull too many out i'm gonna put one to the side so when i swatch that liquid whoa that took it straight off okay Mm, these smell like peppermints. Oh, I love mint. They do say cooling peppermint, Adita. Um, all right, so I'm gonna make sure if I have that black eyeliner, I'm probably gonna put that black eyeliner and the mascara in a giveaway for one of you guys for the next giveaway that I do. And when I say that, I mean like. It's not going to be the main thing, but when I always send extras... Oh, I think I do have this, too. I was about to look at this. This is that vitamin C lip brightener. I might have to add this, too, because I'm pretty sure I have this. And I'm, like, looking around because I know it's somewhere very handy because I used it, and I was like, wow, that's good. So this is probably going to go in a giveaway. That, the primer, and the eyeliner. Not that, the primer and the eyeliner. The mascara, the lippy, and the eyeliner. I think I'm going to keep the primer. I've never tried that flawless beauty primer. So, there's actually six items in here. So, three for me and three for y'all. Um, So, these are the liquid shadows. This one is called Sunset. This has like a moussey consistency and it has this kind of applicator. And that's what sunset looks like. And let me just clear this a little bit. I just want to see. And then the other one is called Chiffon. Let me not put so much on the applicator. So one is like a pearly white and the other is like a champagne color. These are beautiful. Never used these before. Not sure if they're new. So see one's like the champagne color and one's like a frosty white so pretty right they look very easy to just like be really lazy with it you know like throw it on all over your eyelid so cute I'm trying to see i like them wonder how fast they dry down should i uh, leave it on and see it says an extreme 
An extreme longwear liquid shadow that leaves a veil of flattering color. Layer up or mix shades to achieve your desired effect. Oh, it's already dry. Yeah, they're already dry, so. So cool. So yeah, so I'm going to keep those. Duh, I swatched them. And the blush. And the primer. And then I'm going to add the other items to my little giveaway stash and whatever I give away I'll probably use that to like fill it like meaning if I have another makeup bag I'll put those items inside if I have a purse or something a mug whatever it is I'll use those to fill it up so I'm gonna put this to the side I'll probably do a reel with that so I think that's everything um that I had to show you guys me looking around um, yeah, I'm so happy that that little pal is right there contained to the corner. I'm going to take it out right now. And I'm actually, me and my husband are about to go after I'm done filming this. I'm going to put my daughter to sleep. It's literally like about eight ish at night. She's been staying up to like nine 30, 10. I don't know who she thinks she is little three year old. Um, but after, okay, I'm just dropping stuff. Don't mind me. We're going to go put her to sleep and then I'm going to get myself a glass of wine that's why I'm hydrating because I'm planning on drinking some wine. Um, and we're going to finish wrapping. We stayed up all night yesterday wrapping all of her presents and all the kids in the family's presents. And tonight me and him are going to wrap each other's presents along with the stuff that I needed that I didn't have. I was like yesterday so tempted um, to start but I was like I have to unbox I need to do an unboxing. I think this came yesterday. Did I say it came today? It came yesterday. And I was like, I want to show you guys. But I was like, I need to wrap it. So that's why I was like, that's what this video is going to be. Um, so yeah. So that's it. That's everything I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Merry Christmas. And let me know what you guys think of my island. I'm so excited. Like it's going to really help me in this room. Because I needed a little bit of extra storage. Um, I am going to be clearing those pink, um, storage bins that I have over here. I have one is filled with new makeup to try. One is filled with all my press on nails and one is filled with not new makeup, just like recent purchase makeup that I never put away because it's just easier to throw it in there. So I'm thinking... This, unfortunately, is probably going to be a makeup drawer. I'm probably going to use, um, I don't want to use the whole thing for makeup uh, because I have my vanity and I have a nine drawer Ikea packs, I mean an Ikea nine drawer and then I have like three drawers in my closet all full of makeup. So I didn't want another makeup drawer but it looks like it um, and I know, I know, don't even say it girl. You don't even wear makeup. Why you have so much makeup? Because I do. I just haven't recently. Recently as in the last three years. But I'm getting there. I'm going to go back. And I can't not buy it and miss all the good stuff. Jeez. Duh. No, but seriously. I do do my brows. They're not on right now. And I do mascara. Every now and then I'll do like a simple eyeshadow. I'm always wearing lip gloss or lip balm. Um, the only thing that I really haven't been wearing is foundation and blush bronzer and highlight uh and concealer uh <laughs> literally everything else um but that's only because i'm into my skin lately and when i do wear a blush i'll use like a cream blush on top of my natural skin i won't wear a foundation um and i do use concealer a little bit because i told you guys i work nights so I do still wear concealer. But yeah, anyway, back to that. I'm going to get rid of those three storage bins over there. And I'm going to fill it up here. So that will give me a lot of space. And once I get those gifts and my shoes from behind here, it's it looked a little like this is too big for the room. But that's only because I have stuff on the perimeters that will be cleared now that I have this. Because that stuff's going to kind of go in here minus the shoes. I just need to find a new home for my shoes. So I can have a walkway back there. But yeah, I'm rambling now. I do that all the time. I love you guys. Let me know what you guys think of my new vanity and my Christmas tree and my little setup. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. Um, I can't wait until 
tomorrow for me but today probably when you guys are watching this uh to see my daughter's reaction to all her presents uh that she opens from santi but anyway i love you guys and i will see you guys on the next one alexa please contact me so i can see your present so we can get on with the giveaways bye guys